We are now at the Barton Road, continuing on. Straight through the junction, uh, onto Shale, Shale Road, I believe it becomes Shale Road. Still tills and gardens, continuing on. Uh, all ARVs on this channel, just for your awareness, uh, we are now just standing by for strike, stand by, stand by. Okay, we're going to do it. Uh, it's a near side indication onto Coastal Gardens. Do it here, it's a uh, inline, inline, inline. Martin Blake, a police officer charged for the of an unarmed 24-year-old during a traffic stop in Streatham in September 2022. The car recognised by officers had been involved in an incident the previous night and was cornered by police vehicles in Kirkstall Gardens. During the incident, Mr. Carber, the driver, attempted to escape by taking the car forward and backward. Blake testified that he believed one of his colleagues was in imminent danger, which led him to use a weapon to stop the vehicle. Mr. Carber's family who endured more than two weeks of court proceedings, expressed their deep sorrow and anger following the verdict, stating that they would continue fighting. They released a statement saying that we are devastated. The not guilty verdict adds to our unbearable sorrow and sense of injustice. Chris was taken from us, and this decision shows that his life and others like him don't seem to matter to the system. Our son deserved better. Following Blake's acquittal, video footage from police body cams was made public, showing the events of September 5th, 2022. In the footage, officers are seen surrounding Carver's car, shouting for him to show his hands. As the car moved back and forth, a single gunshot was heard, followed by officers calling out shots fired and first aid. The Independent Office for Police Conduct will now determine whether Blake should face disciplinary action. Blake had never fired a gun at or seen a gun fired at a person before that night. Testimony revealed that some close to Blake were uneasy about his decision to become a police marksman, though he believed it was the best job within the Metropolitan Police. The jury, made up of nine men and three women, requested to make a statement in court following their verdict. The request was denied by Justice Goss. Official data reveals that in the year leading up to March 2023, there were 18,395 police weapons operations in England and Wales. These police used weapons in 10 instances, resulting in three fatalities. 